The back coach has spotted another back trap. This is something I see far too often. See, that bag does not seem to be doing Joe's back any favors. Let's see what the back coach has to say about this. The back coach wants Joe to know that by putting a heavy bag over one shoulder, Joe has to work to balance the bag with his other, less heavy side. By doing so, he is putting pressure on his sciatic nerve and running the risk of straining it. The back coach has a few tips to help Joe alleviate the stress on his back. First, he can consider purchasing a backpack. Backpacks are better because they bounce the weight on two shoulders rather than one. Right, Jim. The back coach also has other options for Joe to consider like carrying two bags instead of one to disperse the weight. He could have a messenger bag and a tote bag. Purchasing a lightweight bag can also help, one that is made of lightweight materials and doesn't have heavy accessories like buckles. And if nothing else, Joe can work to reduce the amount of stuff he carries in his bag. This could mean investing in a lighter computer or, or carrying less paperwork. No matter which bag Joe uses, he shouldn't feel as if he's leaning forward arching his back, or favoring one side to the other. Jim, I'm receiving word that Joe is going to modify how he carries his bag. Let's see how this goes. You go much much better oh yeah don't walk right into a back trap get help from the back coach at www.thebackcoach.org <laughs>